Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Robert, the daily trader. It is November 19th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your research and make your own decisions. Amen. So Tesla, very good day for Tesla today. So we are up $40.68. So that's good for 3.71%. We closed at 11.37.06. Post market, we are down 1.45 bucks approximately at 11.35.61. So what did happen? So we had a little bit of a problem getting over 11.16.82. So this has been a resistance that uh, was used. Let's not forget it was used on October 29th. We went over it, became support the next day, the next trading day. So November 1st, then when Elon uh, mentioned that he was going to sell some Tesla shares, then the Tuesday, the following Tuesday, then the stock went down and we have been uh, trying to get back over 11.16.82 since. Something I did not mention you so far, this drop here very looks like a W. So when you have a W, the neckline is your resistance line. Okay. So that being said, uh, it does not change much because we had the quite strong resistance at 11.16.82 anyway. So now today we have a nice green candle and we crossed uh, quite strongly with even a little bit of a bike pressure at the bottom, a longer wick uh, at the bottom here. Let's go see the one hour chart. So this is where we had this 11.16.82. So since November 17th, we have been trying to get over that and look at this here. So starting yesterday, we were trying, we were making higher lows. That's always a good sign. And uh, today we broke this and let me even go to the five minute chart. So today it was pretty exciting to look at the five minute chart. So the five minute chart really confirmed that 11.16.82 was the real resistance because once we went close to it, look at how hard it was starting at around one o'clock this afternoon. So this is at 105. So we went right smack, as I always say, right smack on the resistance. 110 right on it. Look at this right on the resistance, came back a little bit, crossed it, crossed it and closed above it. Then went significantly higher, but then look at all of this selling pressure. So selling pressure. So the stock had to go to come down, but then here buying pressure and then boom, nice clean candle above that resistance, nice clean candle. Then a little bit of a pullback, boom, boom. And then we started moving upwards, started moving a little bit, then went sideways. And, uh, let me just change mode here. And now we went as high as 1138 came up and down. And we seem to have been stabilizing here on the five minute chart between, uh, between 11, 29, 67 and 11, 38, 60. So this is, this is a very detailed analysis for now. I only do that once I decide to go in. So once I decide to go in and this is what I did this afternoon. So I went into Tesla when it started at around, at around 1230, it started to touch this 11, 16, 82. So I started watching this like a hawk and I started watching it here. And then here, when I saw this uh, big break here, I decided to enter and then, uh, well, I've been long ever since. So very nice day for Tesla. Let's hope that this will hold. If we look at the indicators on the daily chart. So stochastic is now at 69. That's pretty good. Over 60 means that uh, things should be moving up. It's not always true, but most of the time uh, it's true. 
Then on the RSI, we had this decreasing strength. We had a trend that I expressed with this uh, red line here. So this trend was a decreasing strength in RSI. And just to coincide with this breakout here, breakout here, we have this breakout here. So everything is in sync. The stock is stronger and the stock made some higher moves. Everything is in sync. This is what we like. Stochastic had already went over 60 not too long ago. MACD, MACD is basically a difference between two moving averages, a 26 day moving average and a 12 day moving average. So it's going to take some days for MACD to register what is happening here, because what is happening here is quite a steep rebound. And as a rule, as a rule, you should have a 90 degree angle between your downtrend and your uptrend. So we are pretty much uh, right smack on that. This is making sense. This is making sense. MACD is going to take a little while for it to cross over bullish and DMI is already crossed over bullish. So it seems like Tesla is in good health right now. I don't know if Elon has sold everything or uh, if people are just okay with the fact that Elon still has stocks to sell, but the proof is in the pudding and the pudding is the stock prices. Let's just believe reality and reality is the chart. Everything else is pretty much, it's pretty much conjectures. If we follow this channel that we are starting to see right now, Next move for Tesla is easily 1370 before we might have a little bit of a pullback. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member if you want to encourage me and uh, entice me to keep continuing doing uh, this work for you guys. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. If you are a member, then we are going to a live stream on Sunday and look at the weekly chart for Tesla and Palantir. I'm going to wish you a great weekend. We are going to talk on Monday and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.